So Yusuf had two questions from Ireland. The first one, what's the ruling on giving my car for lease to someone who wants to operate it as a taxi? The answer is this is totally permissible. I don't know whether he is going to take people to pubs or to the church or to use it to um, take pork meat from one place to the other. Haram things for Muslims, of course. The answer is, it's not your responsibility. The action itself of renting or leasing your car to be used as a taxi, this is halal. What it is used then, if you do not have evidence beyond doubt, speculations and doubts cannot interfere or impact your decision. For example, Someone comes to me and says, Sheikh, I sell bottles of water. What's the ruling on that? He said, halal. He said, but Sheikh, maybe the man who's buying it for me would put it into ice cubes and then drink it with whiskey. I said, subhanAllah, why do you assume the worst? Do you have any reason to doubt such a thing? He said, no, but maybe, yeah, maybe, everything is maybe. So when you, Brother Yusuf, says to me, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, I say, hi. You say, Sheikh, I said, Assalamu alaikum. You said, yeah, but maybe you're not a Muslim. Maybe you're pretending to be a Muslim. Maybe you're committing shirk or worshiping graveyards or wearing ta'viz or asking uh, the dead to help you. A'udhu <laughs> billah. Then in this case, everything would become haram in life. This is not the way we deal with things. The default is good. Renting a car, renting a house is halal. What happens behind closed doors, what happens without me knowing about it, this is not my fault. This is his fault and Allah Azza wa knows best.